guys, welcome back. I noticed in the last video I uploaded, not No Man's Sky. You guys only seem to like the classic games we played in the, back in the day. Well, here's another one. Um, one of my good favorite. I kind of love this. I keep going back to it. Um, the game is called Nox. N O X. Um, it's a very kind of obscure game. Not a lot of people played it. It came out in North America, February 16th, 2000. The game is kind of a Diablo style, but not really Diablo. There are parts in the game, like this. Damn. Hun, you want bacon? You know I do. Damn TV. Lousy second-rate candle makers. Kill them all when I rule the world. What sort of half-baked operation do they think I'm running here? Now where was it? Dananda ta, dananda ta, da da da. Yeah. Oh yeah. I call upon the power. That just makes the game funny, and it adds unique little funny stuff like that. You play a character that is warped into this fantasy world through this spell from the intro. When you come in, you're just completely blown away because you don't know what's going on. And then, of course, you get the scene with the captain who starts talking about wanting your TV like this. A lift of my boot. Ah! Hold on. What's this? It's my TV. Hmm. And what does this TV do? Do? It doesn't really do anything. You just watch it. See, here's where you plug it in, and this knob changes the channels. I think it's broken. Intoxicating. The look of it promises a host of mysteries. You should see it when it's on. Give me the glass box, Imp, and I'll spare you your deadly plummeting fate. And then, after that, that is the whole intro, then immediately takes you to the uh, menu, where you can select all sorts of stuff, your options, quit game, uh, start a new game. There is a multiplayer aspect. It's not its strongest point. I will tell you that right now. Um, I have seen some of it played. It is very hard to get set up right. The uh, system is based off of a, uh, um, a lot of people call it a true site. I call it an actual real life perspective. If you have a window, you're going to see in that window and you're going to see what you would normally see in a window in that view and that aspect. The uh, game itself is really unique. You move around with the mouse, unfortunately. You use the right click to move, you use the left click to interact with stuff. And then you use your ASDFG for your spells that you get throughout the game. And there is a way to rearrange it. It goes over a tutorial on how to do that. But it's, it's, it's like you teleport into this world. You're an average show. I mean, shoot. You're getting teleported into this world when your girlfriend starts cooking you bacon. Now, come on. You want to get back home. It's bacon. Everybody loves bacon. I love bacon. Everybody just loves bacon. Just accept it. You love bacon. So, um, the object is you get to the world and then you get to select your class. There are, uh, kind of like three classes in there you can select. Um... You've got the warrior, you got the conjurer, and you got the wizard. Now, whatever one you do pick will start you off at a different place, okay? Um, like, if you pick the warrior, you're going to start off in Dunmere. Dunmere is the fire warriors. So, when you go in there, then you have to turn around and go through the gauntlet. Uh, the conjurers start off in the village of Ix. I-X. They make... They mean these places really simple to spell and that's the home of the conjurers basically you are misfires you hypnotize these animals and you have them come with you and you have them do your own bidding you can hypnotize up to four or you can hypnotize one large one you know you do expand off um, the level up system is automatic so it's not like these new age ones where you turn around and you go in and do it the wizards you're a wizard you're squishy as crap so, don't run directly in the fights. Use your spells. Every which chance, use your spells. First spell you get is Magic Missile. Which, if you play D&D, you know that's... That's spell of a wizard. I mean, come on. Um, but, 
most of the characters in this game, I'm not going to say all of them because I'm not so, sure if it's all of them. Most of them are voice act, which would made this game very unique. I think this was kind of like a, a, an under-the-radar game. I don't think too many people has ever really wanted it. Um, there was an expansion pack that was supposed to come out for it. Um, I'm looking on the Wikipedia right now. And they actually canceled the expansion pack. I'm wondering why I couldn't find it. So, they only came out with really two updates as far as I know. And then that was it. The game, it just, it was so far under the radar, it just died out. I mean, it did not last. I think it maybe lasted for like two years. And that was it. It, it, it was done. No, no. Okay, Nox Quest. There is an option in there to do Nox Quest. Um, it was offered as a free download August 1st, 2000. Um, it kind of was more of like for, according to this, multiplayer more than it was for individuals. Um, like I said, it did not last long, which I'm surprised. I really enjoyed the game. It didn't really take itself serious all the time. It broke up a lot of the seriousness with little jokes. Like, like I said in the intro, you, the candles, come on. Um, but it was a, a real interesting game. You teleport into this world in t-shirts and jeans and your tennis shoes. You got to go out and get your own weapons. They didn't make the gold abundant. So it's not like, oh, I could turn around and just do a little bit of this and get gold and get that. No, because as you've been to a place and you killed the monsters, the loot won't respond. The monsters won't respond. So it just really kind of gets you going. Is it kind of open world? Eh, I wouldn't say really much open world. As much as I would like to say it's more of a kind of linear, but it doesn't feel that way. You can go out, you pick up quests, and you don't even realize it. You can talk to anybody in the town, the shops, and everything. Like I said, far as I know, almost all of it is voice acted. So you actually get a voice audio from each character. And when they're like yelling, down, yelling at you down the well, they add that echo so it makes you really feel like you're uh, uh, being screamed at by another person down in a well. Um, like I said, this game is beautiful. I loved it. As you can see on the screen, I am playing a warrior. Um, you can play another two classes. There were only three classes, but each class was kind of unique. Not really in the aspect of, you know, course a wizard is going to be different than a warrior and you know conjurer da 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 no it was kind of like unique depending on how you play um your weapons and your armor did have durability so you had to make sure that durability was up um it basically took kind of like i think this was around in diablo i want to say it was kind of like diablo 2 um somewhat before it kind of came out don't quote me on that i want to say it was diablo 2 or something um but you know it it, it really took rpgs to another level everybody in that time when i played you know it diablo was the thing when I was first introduced to this game, I was introduced in the year it came out. I was introduced in uh, my A school when I was in the service in the Navy. And uh, they had this. It's like, well, you know, this seems cool. The, the art looked cool. Had this remnants of art. Um, I thought, you know, let's play it. You know, they had computers we could play right there on base. So I took it. I played it. And I just fell in love with it. I wanted to buy the copy. So when I had the chance, I got me my own laptop and I bought a copy of Knox and I enjoyed it. Did I ever finish a game? No, never finished a game. I was just enthralled with the story, enthralled with uh, uh, the game itself. It was just unique. It was something different. It wasn't a Diablo. That, that was the thing. Everybody was looking for the next kind of Diablo. Other than that, it was Diablo this, Diablo that, da, 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 da. Uh, this was also made by Westwood Studios, which also made Command & Conquer. So this was a unique twist for them. They weren't really big on RPGs back in the day when this came out. They were more like Command & Conquer, strategy warfare. That was it. I mean, they had Command & Conquer. They had uh, Warcraft before, you know, went to World of Warcraft. It was just Warcraft. And they had... Um, uh, 
that one um now i can't think of it <laughs> it'll probably come to mind um but that was it they, they were focused on strategy warfare this was a kind of a unique twist i actually really enjoyed it you know there are some cut scenes in this which is fine but overall the premise of this game was just beautiful i mean you can't beat it it was beautiful in all terms I enjoyed it because it wasn't always serious all the time. When you needed that uh, uh, that breakup, you know, it broke it up with some sort of a comedy skit. I mean, it was just like, what? Where did that come? That just came out of no nowhere. I mean, it's trying to take itself serious, try to pull you in, and then all of a sudden it comes up with a joke right there in front. And then you're just like, well, gee, that was like out of the blue. So... If you ever get a chance, get a chance, pick this up on GOG, um, Galaxy of Games. If you don't know what they are, go to GOG.com. Um, let them know I sent you there. I uh, would love to be a sponsor of them. Um, start doing a lot more of these classic games. Like I said, I saw uh, uh, that the last one I did of Hexen did really good. So I figured I'd put out another one um, of Nox while we're waiting for an update for No Man's Sky. Like I said, my channel is going to be more of a mix of games. It's not going to be standard of just one game. It has been recently, and I'm really sorry about that. It's just, you know, couldn't really find the right game. Um, but these are old nostalgia games to me. These are the games I remembered growing up. Um, Nox was just a really unique individual. I never forgot the name of the game because it was so unique. It was actually a really good RPG time to take to play several hours this wasn't no uh like a lot of your rpgs now that also honestly to be serious with everybody your newer rpgs i could beat them in eight hours that is ridiculous that is bad that's not good role playing that is not a good storyline nox itself has been rated to 40 plus hours of gameplay um that's 40 hours of just the main storyline People who has played it will tell you, yes, it takes about 40 hours to complete the game. It's it's very extensive. It's very in-depth. It's always going over the storyline. It's always letting you know what it was. When this game came out, it came out on four discs. One disc was just the installer. The rest of the disc was the games. That told you how expansive this game was. Now, the system specs, did you need it back then? was not very big. I mean... You're talking about 2000. Okay, that's like Windows 98 into Windows Me. You know, <laughs> those computers weren't the most powerful. Um, they do have it, like I said, on GOG. Um, but, like I said, this is one of my good, unique go-to games. Um, it's an RPG yep. style, kind of a Diablo it, style. If you guys really like it, like I said, go check them out on GOG. Um, GalaxyofGames.com. And, uh, you know, and... Pick it up and tell me what you guys think of it. I really enjoy it. I'd love to hear other people and what they think about it. It's not a very well-known game. It did fly underneath the radar. Of course, it was being blown away by games like Diablo. So, um, till then, guys, I'll see you next time. I'll probably put out another one of these videos next week.